You know, if you've ever tried fixing something on a vehicle, you realize that it takes a lot of confidence to be willing to try something because if it stops working while you're driving, it could be catastrophic. Um, I used to not be very confident at all to try uh, fixing anything on a vehicle, uh, but then something called YouTube came along and, and I could watch a video and I could see how somebody changed the brakes and I could do that, or, or an alternator, I could do that uh, just by following the steps and taking things apart and putting them back together. Now, you might not be willing to, to try something on a vehicle, but, but maybe you've used YouTube or something else to get instructions on how to uh, make a new recipe or, or build some really cool craft or something for your home. But I think for all of us as educators, that confidence is so important. It's not always easy to try something new. Uh, we might not be willing to try some big STEM things in our school, um, but we have the confidence maybe to try something easy. Try a small job. And again, if we can look for some advice and some ideas somewhere else, like I looked on YouTube, uh, or you looked on YouTube, or wherever else on the internet, or a friend to help out, as we start to gain a little bit of confidence, things start to get a little bit easier. And then I can tackle bigger and bigger projects uh, that maybe I didn't have the confidence to start before. So my question for you right now is, what are you confident enough to try right now? What could you try with your kids, in your classroom, in your community, right now, uh, with that confidence level that you're at right now with STEM? Figure out something that you're willing to try, and try it.